Last week we installed new awning fabric, but we were most excited about is the addition of the sumo springs, which we can't wait to see how it improves the RV's ride. In today's video, we explore the benefits of saving money by grooming our own dogs and the excitement of installing new carpet in our RV. One of the things that we do for as a full-time RVer, we have two dogs that need to be groomed. We used to, wherever we were at, we would find a groomer. We would check the reviews and then we would trust that we would be, they would be good. Well, the last one that we trusted, unfortunately, hurt Mason's back. Ever since, we decided to learn how to groom them ourselves. So, I'm going to show you today a little bit of Mason getting that hairball of a little boy all cut down. How to groom your dogs is a skill that can benefit both you and your furry companions while you travel in your RV. Not only will it ensure their safety and comfort, but it can also help you save on your expenses. When you groom your dogs regularly, you can prevent various health issues such as skin infections, matting, and ticks. Taking care of your dog's grooming needs yourself can save you money on professional grooming services. By investing the time and effort into learning how to groom your dogs, you'll be able to maintain their health and happiness while enjoying your adventures on the road. I'm a mess. It's hot. It's windy. So we just got done with Mason or I just got done with Mason and now we are going to start with Missy. With her I'm going to put it on a time lapse because she is super quick. what she just saw but she looks like she's a hunting dog. There she is. Missy. 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 She, she seen something got her attention. Yeah, a mouse or something was underneath there. Ready? Get him. Ready? Get him. See, I don't see anything, baby. With our fur babies groomed and looking adorable, we can now focus on our newest project. Our RV's interior looks better than ever. that 
we are getting another project started. This one I'm hopefully going to be able to do a lot myself. My Ed is working on some other not projects. Gonna happen. Excuse me? It's not going to happen. <laughs> that's a lot for one person. So that's what we're going to work on right now. We're excited to get that done. It's going to make the RV look so, so much better. Okay, we're back to the house now, or the RV, whatever you wanna call it, it's our home. I'm gonna show you so far what we have done, getting ready for this, I'm gonna call it remodel. Hold on. So this dirty, skanky carpet is out Fine, of here. Are you gonna get out of here? Oh, we can't wait. Oh, it's been in wait. We should have done this years ago oh yeah it's going so i'm just gonna kind of put you on a time lapse so you can see what we're doing All right, we had that old stinky carpet out. There's the pups trying to figure it out. There's Edward trying to figure out what we're gonna do next. So here we go, ready or not. Ed is a smart man. Instead of guessing the measurements for the new carpet, he decided to use the old carpet as a template. By laying the old carpet on top of the new one, he's able to cut out the new carpet to be just the right size. He's even thought ahead of that and made sure to cut it slightly larger so that the new carpet will roll over at the walls and the slide. This will help make sure that the new carpet looks neat and tidy and won't come up or fray at the edges. It's always great to have someone like Ed, yes, my wonderful hubby, who knows what they're doing and makes time to do it right. It's really hot, so excuse the hair, but what we did is we um, cut it oversized. As you can see down here, we are gonna roll that under, and then it's gonna be stapled along the wall here, and we're gonna do some magic right over here in the slide. So you will have to keep watching, and you can see what we do. So as you can see here, Whoa! That's the chair fall off the table. I'm gonna check that again. Ed is just going along here and putting some staples in to kind of hold it in place. And then we're gonna work on it and get it all pretty for you. Okay. Now I wanna use the scissors on that. I'm not using. Yeah, if you can cut one end and I can work on getting yep. that rolled over. So it's a little more difficult because the carpet that they put on your slides always have a finished edge. So our intentions is we cut it long and we're going to roll it under and then we're going to staple it to the slide. So when it goes in and out, it's going to stay on the slide, of course. We hope it. Uh, it's going to do it. I got to find a board. That scissors just ain't working no more. This is gonna look really nice. It's gonna look really nice, really nice. Oh. Okay, so Ed brought a board in. As you can see, he's gonna cut this square piece on. 
and I'm gonna start working it around. Okay. Okay. I'll go do the other end. Okay. And I wanna take your scissors. Or you're not using them. I'm not using the scissors. You just didn't see me? Yep. I just wanna make sure. Okay, so this is gonna roll under. Take that up. Under, under, under. We're good. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's going to look really good. Nice. Um, yeah, so you'll have to staple that. So one thing with our projects, learn from our mistakes. But so far it's doing really good. No. No, it, it barely goes through. So... Edwin had put the staples along the side. We're going to fold this over we'll and he's going to put the staples on the very corner right here. And then we will get double sided carpet tape put here to help hold it down. My God, this feels good. It looks good too. So I'm going to take it over here. Doesn't that look good? All right, we are done with the first slide, the main slide. I'm gonna flip you around here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Our new recliner, new carpet down. Doesn't it look good? I'm gonna show you our yucky carpet. So that is the yucky carpet that we're replacing. We're and we're not going to finish that last one tonight because it's getting late and we want to sit down and relax a little bit because tomorrow our one of our granddaughters is showing at their county fair so we want to be awake and aware and present at that so i'm also going to take some quick video while she is showing and i'm going to show you guys how good she does All right, since we finished that slide last night, we are gonna work on our other slide, the last one. We're hoping it's gonna go just as good, but as we know at the Elliott's, everything's always a challenge. As you can see here, Ed is currently cutting off the carpet from the slide and trim, which seems to have been laid down by the manufacturer before the trim was put on. So carpet is removed. I'll go back, clean up the area, and then we're going to start the process of installing the new carpet. Okay, Ed got the carpet out as you saw. And fortunately, unfortunately, it was down really well, so we got that down. There's a lot of um, staples and stuff that he has to get up. This reflected stuff is what came with the RV. Unfortunately, when we replaced the slide floor last summer, we put down something similar to that, but it was reflectix, as you know, we put in the windows. 
that you don't want to put down because it actually created some condensation between the carpet and the floor. So don't do that. Learn from our mistakes. We're going to be putting a new carpet down here in a little bit. <laughs> There's your what, sign. I don't know what else you want me to say. Man of very few words. I'm going to wipe this off because it's because I'm thinking. I can't do. Oh coffee. my god. I'm a man. I can't do multiple things. <gasps> That is going to be wonderful. No, it already looks better. Yeah, just having that gross carpet out. I don't think we need to fold that much under. I don't think we need that much. We don't need that. Yeah, much I like under. that end. See, that looks better. You don't have to fold as much under. Right. That one. This one might be a little long because that'll fold under good that needs a little trim trim yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna change that it's easier to do a little trim than cutting too too much oh exactly you can't stretch it nope so we got it laid down these edges are curled under here is straight just like the rv manufacturer did ed kind of trimmed this over here and then i'll work on that but now ed has brought the carpet tape in and we're going to do the edge so we're going to fold it over with that double-sided carpet tape okay so ed's going to take that big booty that's right there staple along the sides here so the carpet's not going to move. And then we're going to work on rolling this over. Oh, hi Mason. We're going to work on rolling this over with the double sided carpet tape to kind of hold it, give it that finished edge. Holy crap. Maybe I need to go back over there and just really push down on it. Is it? There's that booty. Womp womp. Okay, so our first step is just to roll this completely over and exposing the bottom. We're just going to roll it over like that. I don't know how we're going to do this. There you go. There. And then we're going to put the tape the double-sided tape all the way down um, only taking the one side off at a time because then we work it on to the carpet <laughs> okay I'm gonna start at this very end and work our way down pressing as we go if you move your feet out of the way there I know I got Chababa feet. And then we work this on really, really, really good. Egg. Got it? There you go. Just working your way down. See that big booty? He's holding that carpet tape down. I think yesterday Ed kind of walked with his socks along here too. You getting yours off? I'm not even trying. We go from one end and come across. Okay, so we went across here oh, you and didn't we go put this. the end. I did. And we just push this down so this um, white will come off, but we're going to work as a team and start on one end and work our way through because you're going to pull the tape off and fold it over and stick it at the same time. And it is sticky, isn't it? So here's the tape that we're using. 
recommended by a guy in the flooring department and so far it's been pretty darn sticky yeah i couldn't get his fingers off of it last night are you trying to get that off Anyways, this has got a whoa babe. okay That's why I thought we'd start on the end and work our way, but um, that didn't quite happen. You almost got to go to that line. But you... The fold? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what it looks like. Hmm. If you can get it to that line, we're doing good. We're very good, good. You like it? I like it so far. So, as you can see, Ed got his my finger wouldn't come stuck. off folding over to that line i don't know how we got so lucky to have a guide and then just fold it over and push it down this ain't so easy on this end there you go This is a lot higher. I think it's the board. I think that board needs to come off. I agree with this side. Ed put a board on it before. Um, can you? To hide the carpet. Right here. Um, I can't see. What? Oh. Okay. Right oh. here, Ed put a trim board on here. Where the, the carpet used to be here, but he took that off and then it kind of the flooring didn't go all the way, so we put this here to trim it now out. Now it'd be covered back up. Now it looks too carpet looks down. too tall. I'm just gonna go through here and push this down to make sure it is good and stuck. And then I think Ed's going to um, get something to take this trim board off so this will lay flatter. It's sticking up too much. Hi, Missy. Hi. I think it could be the same way. We can take the board off this side, too. Hi. And I think Thank it'll you. down more. For the right Ed, carpet. Can you say that again? We should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> I guess we were waiting just for the right carpet to come along. And we found it. Ten years later? No. Oh, God. Have your big old house, pretty manicured lawn, beautiful bow window. I'ma take my metal box, all decked out, and go wherever the wind blows. You can do what you will, I'ma do what I please. There's more than one road to happy, I'm gonna get there in my RV.